Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shira and I post planner related videos on this channel. So today I have a plan with me for you for the week of July 16th through the 22nd, which was a week that I spent in Austin because it was during the Scribble Prince Co. planner party. I am using a SBC kit, which this one was the one that they released for Cyber Monday and it got re-released and reformatted quite recently just before the party happened. Before anything else, I do want to apologize for one, the band-aid on my left hand. Um, I know it's a little bit distracting but I did have a cut on my finger that was kind of painful so I wanted to make sure it was covered and all that. But also because my nails look really janky in this video, I just took off nail polish just before filming this and I've been holding off or putting off um, filming this plan with me forever and this was one of the few times that I could actually um, film this plan with me so I figured I would just go with it. Um, but yeah, I hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. But so I'm using the bottom washi that actually came with the kit. I'm only adding in two other washies this week. Um, both are from Simply Gilded. They're um, the pink um, 15 millimeter um, bow washi as well as the candy green, but that's in the five millimeter. So I'm just putting all of the um, date covers on really quick and writing the dates in. Then I'm gonna go into the sidebar. So in the thankful thought box, I typically put um, like the deco pieces if there are some. I just tried to kind of make a scene in there using the deco that was included with the kit. There was quite a bit that came with this kit, so I figured I would use a bunch of it. And yeah, so after that, I am just going to add some um, washi. I decided to use the skinny green washi on the sidebar. And then I'm going to add some of the usual um, sidebar things. Um, but yeah, so this was the week that I went to Austin. If you didn't know, I did go to the Scribble Prints Co. Planner Party um, this year. It was so much fun. I loved meeting so many um, people I've always wanted to meet in like the planner community. It was a total fangirl moment. But also, I met a lot of you guys, people who are customers and friends and whatnot. It was just so much fun being able to put actual faces to names like you know how you know someone from their photo but you usually just see one or two photos of someone um but just seeing them like and talking to them it's just so exciting to be around planner friends and it was just so much fun but so building out the sidebar i put down a um full box on the side i used the one with the girl in it and then i used a this week header with a weekly um box. I forget what they're called, but they're the ones with the Monday through Friday. Um, and then also I used a work header and put a habit tracker under it. And then to kind of even out the sidebar with how thick the bottom washi is, I added another piece of the five millimeter washi to the very bottom. Um, because as you can see on the right, the um, bottom washi does pretty much cover up the entire part. So yeah. But so I'm just filling out the sidebar really quickly here and then I'm going to proceed to planning the rest of the week. So for Monday, I started off by putting these um, appointment labels. I wanted to use these to mark down when I went to work out. Um, these were mainly for spin class this week. I was supposed to go on Monday and Wednesday, but I believe I update that because I missed one of them. And then I went on another day. We'll probably see it as we go on. But I still didn't want to decide on what um, character or whatever sticker to use um, for that. So I just left it blank for now. And I'm going to add a character on there later. So after that, I just put down this um, Starbucks full box. This is the first time I've actually used the new Scribble Prints Co. format. And this happened to also be a... Um, ultimate kit so yeah I was a little bit um, lost as to how I wanted to actually use this so there were so many pauses in between that I had to take out but so I used a half box to mark down a meeting I used the little um, at sign like the email sign just because I didn't want to use any of the other icons that came with the kit 
Um, I used a little book label that actually now comes with the um, kit format to note that I went to Barnes & Noble that day. And then on this um, washi strip, I wrote down that I went to Korean barbecue with a couple of friends and I used a Korean barbecue sticker from Happy Diet Stickers. I do kind of bounce around here because there were certain things that I wasn't sure if I wanted to actually put it in my planner. Um, if you didn't know, I do post plan my weeks, so these things already happened by the time that I'm filming this. Um, oh, so here on Tuesday, I'm adding the fact that I went to spin class that day and not on Monday. At the very bottom of Monday, there was a girl that was printing stickers. That is from Tamashi Prints. And then at the very, very bottom, there was an emoji watching TV. This girl that's running, technically, she is from the Smushed Peach. So I did use that LOL sticker, um, the canceled sticker that came with the kit itself. Oh, and this week I'm using the um, Taiwanese um, marking pen for the glossy stickers. And on the actual paper, I am using a new to me pen. It is from a store called Miniso. I don't know if it's everywhere. I believe it's like not very common just yet because they, they just opened a couple in San Diego. Um, but it's similar to Daiso and um, places like that, I guess. But yeah. So the um, coffee sticker is also from the Smushed Peach. I used the Simply Gilded Washi to break up some sections of this spread. Um, I was kind of relieved to not have to use so much different washi. So I may have to consider like how many washies I really try to pull into my spreads. Um, that laptop sticker is from Very Jenny Co. Um, the Michaels Ren sticker is from another kit that I used, um, I think, another week um, before I filmed this. It is from Chasing Chels. And then I used some of the deco to kind of use to mark that Michaels run. I think that was um, post-it notes that I used for that one. Oh, and then the very bottom, um, the boba sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. So like I said, I do kind of bounce around as I am filming because it is post-planned. So I usually try to assess Depending on how many things I did that day, I try to figure out which things are worth using a sticker for basically. So sometimes I'll start from the very top of the day and then I'll stop in the middle and then put something towards the end because I know that thing that happened in the end is something I'd rather put in my planner. So at the very bottom of Wednesday, I used a full box and then on top of it, I used this really cute sticker from Rose Paper Party. It says filled with plans and secrets and I never know when to actually use that sticker. So I thought it would be a funny way to mark down that I had to pack for Austin. Um, all the girls that I'm using on Wednesday so far are from the Smushed Peach. I used that Sip and Tea um, Smushy. I guess that's what she calls her characters. Um, even though I wasn't like gossiping or anything, I was trying to look for a sassy girl sticker or whatever, but I couldn't really find anything that was matching what I wanted. Um, and that was probably the closest thing, but I just wanted that day to be over because Thursday was going to be a travel day. So I was just over the week already because it was pretty much my Friday, obviously. But yeah. So on Thursday, um, like I said, it is our travel day. My boyfriend flew into San Diego first because um, he does live in the San Francisco Bay Area and I wanted both of us to kind of fly from the same um, airport going to Austin. Um, he was going to come with me to Austin just to kind of travel somewhere because we haven't gone anywhere this year just yet. Um, before we went to the airport, we got brunch first, so I used that brunch um, munchkin from Once More With Love. Um, I also used this die cut icon from the kit to note that I had to post a loop on Instagram. The plain sticker that I'm using for the flight to Austin is from Paper and Milk. I do use it as well for the trip back. Usually when I do things that are similar, I kind of like using similar stickers for them so that I can visually see um, basically what things are similar in the spread. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but I think it's just because I'm a designer and that's how you kind of think of designs. Like if there is a similarity between things, you kind of make them look similar um, to create that association. 
but so I put down the full boxes first just to kind of block off those times already I decided to put this scribble prints coat cup um, full box for just to cover the time when we were on the flight and then I did put the double box on the weekend um, here I'm using a spoon fork and plate sticker from very cute designs um, to mark down that we went to a barbecue place called Lambert's we also went to AGB, which is the local grocery chain in Texas. And the only reason I marked it, and I use a munchkin to mark it, is because literally the entire time we were in Austin, um, I was hanging out with Denise from Paper and Milk, um, and we would always tell people, oh yeah, we went to HEB. So I thought it was just going to be a funny thing to note down in my planner to remember that. A lot of the stickers that I'm using are munchkins. This ramen sticker, actually right now it's a hot pot sticker because I wasn't sure if I had ramen stickers, but I do find some later on and replace it. Um, we went to some late night ramen um, at the domain. So here I'm kind of bouncing around doing the same thing that I mentioned I do typically, where it's um, trying to work backwards to figure out which things I want to put in my planner. Um, the coffee cup at the beginning of the day is actually from Mandy Dreams. So here I was trying to mark down that I went to the EC store, but then I figured, um, I realized that I could add in more things than I thought I could. So I wanted to mark down that we met up with a couple of planner girls at Velvet Taco, which is a, I guess it's a fusion place. They were tacos that weren't really like your typical Mexican style tacos. Um, you guys know I love tacos. But it was fusion, so I had some mixed feelings with certain things, but it wasn't bad. I thought it was pretty decent, actually. So here I'm putting down the weekend banner, but I totally put it down off camera. And I absolutely love how this weekend banner looks. I don't know yet if this is what the new weekend banner for all of the new format kits are. Like I said, this is the first time I've used the new format, and I haven't really looked at the kits I've gotten recently. Um, so I've gotten quite a few Scribble Prints Co. kits um, because I am subscribed to their um, monthly subscription, but I actually don't look at them until I use them. So like I look at the full boxes and then call it a day. But yes, yeah, so I haven't really paid attention to the new format, but I absolutely love it. Most of the food stickers I'm using, except for the taco, the taco is from Kina Prints. Everything else that's food related is from um, Happy Diet stickers. A lot of my food stickers are from them. Um, on Saturday, I wanted to mark down the Scribble Prints Co. Party. I did use a sticker that I made for the party and gave out in swaps. And then I used some deco that came with the kit. The organized stickers is also from my shop. At the very bottom, I used a girl from Happy Diet Stickers to mark down that we went out that night to 6th Street. Um, I was not intending on going out that night. I was so exhausted, but we got convinced by Brian, who is Denise at Paper and Milk's boyfriend, to just go out that night. But so here I was trying to look for a sticker to mark down the barbecue that we got on Sunday. But as I was looking for it, I did realize that I had these ramen stickers. So I do peel this... Um, hot pot sticker up and put this ramen sticker instead and then here is the barbecue sticker that I found it's actually pork ribs um, but I figured it was fine because I think we had pork ribs I can't remember anymore I'm literally planning this about a month later which is crazy to me but so I'm using this um, cutout icon which is a camera to note that we went to the Austin mural and graffiti park I had to double check how graffiti was spelled if it was two F's or two T's um, but I also combined this milk tea sticker, which is from Paper and Milk, and this ice cream sticker, which is from um, the Coffee Monsters Co. to note down that we got some sweet things, which one was gelato, actually, not ice cream, and then the other was gongcha, which is a milk tea place. Um, we also got Kura Sushi, which is a revolving sushi bar, and I love that place so much, um, with Denise and her boyfriend. Um, so I used a munchkin to note that, and then I used the same plain sticker from Paper and Milk to note the flight back to San Diego that night. But here is the spread as a whole. I love how this turned out. This kit was one that I was very excited to use. Here are the leftovers that I have. There's still so much, obviously, because it is an ultimate kit. And even with mini kits, I already have a lot left. So there's so much still to use for later on. 
But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this plan with me and I will see you guys next time. Bye!